It's no secret that there are many perks to being royal. Not only do you get added to the family payroll, but you also get to choose which charities you want to work with. And at the beginning of her role as the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle became the royal patron of four special organizations. Unfortunately, when you give up your status as a senior royal, many of the related perks get taken away. And of course, in 2020, Meghan and Prince Harry decided to step down as senior members of the royal family. After spending some time on Vancouver Island in Canada, they made Montecito in California their home, where they now live with son Archie and daughter Lilibet. A huge thing that Meghan and Harry seemed to bond over was their passion for philanthropy. It was one of the first things we started talking about when we met was just the different things that we wanted to do in the world. Not content with simply throwing money at a problem or putting their name on a building, the Sussexes enjoy getting their hands dirty and helping on the ground when needed. However, on March 31, 2021, the couple was given a one-year transitional period to wrap up their royal affairs per people. Now that that transition period has elapsed, Meghan has had to say goodbye to some of her favorite charities. Meghan's departure from her role as a senior member of the royal family has changed many aspects of her life. Importantly, she's been forced to cut down on her UK charity work. Meghan had initially become the royal patron of the National Theatre, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, Mayhew, and SmartWorks. However, Meghan has found herself having to step back from the organizations she once loved supporting. As of April 6, 2022, the Duchess's contributions to Mayhew, an animal welfare charity, have officially ended. A new statement from Mayhew explained, Our royal patronage with the Duchess of Sussex came to an end at the beginning of the year. It's been an incredible privilege for Mayhew to have worked closely with Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, since 2019, when she became our patron. Meghan also shared her sadness about stepping down from the role, explaining in Mayhew's statement, Though my time as patron of Mayhew has come to a close, my unwavering support has not. I encourage each of you to support in whatever way you are able. The emotional support of a rescue animal is unparalleled. As you'll soon realize, it is not you who saves them, it is they who save you. The Daily Mail noted that Camilla Parker Bowles will begin supporting the National Theatre in Meghan's place, but not the other three charities. It's also worth noting that the timing of Meghan's split from Mayhew comes at a heartbreaking time. According to People, the Duchess's close friend, Ollie Joost, passed away unexpectedly in January 2022, right around the time when Meghan's royal patronage was coming to an end. The moment was particularly shocking considering that Joost, who worked as an animal behaviorist, was the one who introduced Meghan to Mayhew in the first place. Meghan had a close bond with Joost, as she turned to him and his fiancé Rob to look after her injured rescue dog when she first arrived in the UK. As Meghan told People, they loved him as though he was their own. It was Juice's passion for caring for animals that compelled Meghan to work with Mayhew as part of her royal patronage. Importantly, the Duchess is not letting her friend be forgotten. The Duchess of Sussex said in a statement on the Mayhew website, It has left me and so many others heartbroken and reflective, knowing that the legacy he leaves for our furry friends is beautifully simple. Just love them. Meghan noted that the Ollie Juiced wing at Mayhew will be established in his memory, intended to house animals that have long had trouble being adopted. As Meghan explained in her statement, because much like Ollie, they will never be forgotten, and they will always be loved. It's nice to see that, just because her royal reign is over, Meghan isn't completely severing ties with the causes she believes in. This might be the end of her royal patronage, but she's still a philanthropist at heart. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.